in this video I want to demonstrate the application of iontophoresis using an external unit, in this case the Phoreser 2 Auto. Iontophoresis is used to deliver a medication through the epidermis. The medication must have an electrical charge, that is it must be an ion, and iontophoresis then uses direct current. So the black lead wire is the cathode or the negative electrode and the red lead wire is the anode or the positive electrode and depending on the charge of your medication you're going to put the medication and attach it to the electrode or put it on the electrode that is attached to the lead wire that has the same electrical charge as the medication does so that the uh, electrode then will repel it push it through the skin the other electrode, placed somewhere else, will draw it into the body. So that's how this works. Just going to use some um, iontophoresis electrodes here. You'll see they're always labeled with how much medication you can put on them. In this case, it's two and a half uh, cubic centimeters or two and a half milliliters. I'm going to open this up. Okay. And in, in this case, it comes with a medication electrode that has a little sponge to put the medication on. It has your inactive or dispersive electrode, which is displaced somewhere else on the body to complete the circuit. And then we have an alcohol wipe or two. You would definitely want to clean the skin with an alcohol wipe uh, before you apply your iontophoresis. In this case, I'm going to pretend that my client has Decorvain's disease. So that's um, basically where the tendons in the first dorsal compartment are not sliding smoothly. They're getting a little hung up. Uh, you can find that first dorsal compartment pretty easily uh, because it's right about where the radial styloid is. So I'm just going to clean that with my alcohol wipe. And then for my dispersive or inactive electrode, I'm just gonna put that somewhere else. In this case, more proximal is easy. So I'm gonna put it up there. So these just clip on to the electrode. You have to make sure you get it on right. If you put it on upside down, it will not connect and won't conduct. So make sure you get it on the right way. And I'm just going to take my dispersive one and put that somewhere more proximal. Okay. And then for my medication electrode, so the first thing I have to do is apply the medication. For the purpose of this video, I'm just using saline and I'm pretending that it has a, a negative charge. Uh, but anyway, I'm just using saline to put some on the uh, sponge there, the medication sponge, and just kind of work it in there a little bit so that it all gets on there. You want to make sure you have enough so that you don't have any um, dry spots, but you also want to make sure you don't have too much because if you have too much, it'll lose all over and your electrode won't stick the way you want it to. So I'm going to take my medication electrode then I'm going to apply that over my target tissue. The medication electrode has to be directly over the target tissue. This doesn't want to come off very well. Medication has to be directly over the, the target tissue or um, it won't hit the target. It does not disperse that much. Um, so if it's not directly over your target, you are not going to have the effect that you want. So again, I'm going right here over that radial styloid so I can hit the first dorsal compartment. And I'm just going to put that right on there and then apply it, seal it up nice. And that's where we want to be. And again, I'm pretending that this is a medication with a negative charge. So I'm going to apply the black electrode to my medication. Now that our electrodes are hooked up, I'm going to show you how to set the parameters on the machine. Every machine is a little different, but they all have basically the same settings. 
Uh, and this one, you turn it on by turning this left knob clockwise, and it will do its system check. And then it will ask you to set the dose. Now initially the dose is set at 40 milliamp minutes. Uh, on this machine, you can set the dose anywhere from zero all the way up to 80 milliamp minutes. And a higher dose means uh, more medication has gone in and uh, also makes the treatment, of course, take longer. Then it asks you to set the current. Um, in terms of milliamps, how uh, high do you want the current to be? This machine will adjust the voltage to maintain whatever current you set. So to set the current, you turn this right knob. I'm going to turn it clockwise. I usually start fairly low. I'm just going to start at one milliamp. You can set it anywhere from zero to four milliamps. Then once you have those set the way you want them, you just turn this left knob clockwise again to start it. Now that we've done that, it's asking us to wait. And now you can see that it's slowly ramping up the current up to one milliamp. As it's doing that, you'll see the time remaining is counting down. And then over here, the dose delivered is counting up. So now we're at one milliamp. And typically I would just leave it there for a little bit, especially with a, a new client. Um, how does that feel to you? I don't feel anything. Okay. So initially, you were saying that you felt something and it was pretty uncomfortable and now you don't feel anything. And that's pretty typical. Uh, while it's ramping up, it tends to be a little more uncomfortable. Now she doesn't feel anything at all. We could leave it here and just let it run. Um, the disadvantage of letting it run this low is that it's going to take us about 80 minutes. So typically I'm going to increase my current a little bit. I typically don't go higher than two milliamps though. Uh, some therapists will crank it all the way up to four milliamps just to get it done. Uh, but I typically don't do that because it's harder on their skin. Remember we're using direct current here, which means that we will have pH changes under the electrodes. Uh, alkaline response under one electrode and an acidic response under the other electrode which basically means you're going to get blisters uh, and I try to minimize that by keeping the current a little lower. But right now we're still at one and we can probably turn that up to say two and now you see it's gradually ramping up again up to two. How does that feel? Okay, so a little tingling with my client. How does it feel now? Same. Okay, same. So a little tingling. Uh, tolerable? Yeah. Okay, so I would probably just run it here, and now you see I've cut my treatment time down to about 40 minutes. Once this is uh, completely finished, the machine will beep. It'll shut off uh, when it has delivered the dose that you have asked it to deliver. After it beeps and shuts off, you'd of course remove the um, electrodes and such. Uh, I'd have my client uh, just wash with soap and water to get whatever medication is off the surface of her skin, um, and then we would be done.